Huawei is back at it again with a new MateBook laptop release here in Malaysia. And this time, it is the MateBook 16S, powered by an Intel 12th generation Core i7 processor and comes with a beautiful and large touchscreen. So, let's check it out. Okay, so this is the Huawei MateBook 16S. It is not a flagship laptop per se, but it's a great laptop for work and play. The laptop is fully aluminium and comes in at just below 12 kilograms, which yeah, this feels slightly heavy when you take into account other ultrabooks or devices that are not gaming laptops. But other than that, I'm also very happy with the amount of ports that comes with this laptop. You have two USB type A ports on the right, and two USB Type-C ports on the left. One of them is a Thunderbolt 4 port, a HDMI port, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Okay, now for the important part, the finger test. No naughty thoughts here. Yeah? Yes, you can lift up this laptop with just one finger, which means that the weight distribution is great. And when the lid is lifted up, you will find the keyboard. And yes, Finally, a laptop keyboard that doesn't annoy me. The keycaps are big and the travel distance is actually really good. Yeah, I never thought that I could love a laptop keyboard, but here it is. Okay, so the display. It's a 16-inch touchscreen display with a 2520 by 1680 resolution and an expert ratio of 3 by 2 and with a peak brightness of 300 nits. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this aspect ratio. I know it's good for work because you can see more of your Word document or even an article if you're reading one, but it's kind of odd if you want to watch videos on it. It's just a bit of my fussiness, but that aside, it's still a fine display. But what's really great is the colors. It's vibrant, it's punchy, and still manages to not be oversaturated. It also supports 100% of the sRGB color gamut and can display 1.07 billion colors. And that really shows when watching videos or even editing photos. It is, however, not the greatest display outdoors because 300 nits is just not that bright for outdoor usage. Oh yeah, and remember the nose angle webcam that Huawei had on their laptops? Well, rejoice, my friends, because that is no more. Now, the webcam is positioned above the screen. And so gone is the rather embarrassing camera angle. In fact, now it comes with built-in features like changing your background, blurring your background, keeping you centered on the screen, and a very cool gaze adjustment where it kind of shifts your eyes to make it look like you're looking at the camera and not the screen. It's kind of freaky, I'm not gonna lie, but it is a pretty smart feature. All right, and now for the important question, how does it perform? Well. It is powered by an Intel Core i7 12700H processor and 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM. It comes pre-installed with Windows 11, but overall my experience has been actually great. It's smooth, it's fast, and really overall for productivity, I had no issues with this laptop at all. The keyboard is definitely a plus feature. However, it does not come with a dedicated graphics card. Instead, it's using the Intel Iris Xe graphic, which is good if you perhaps are not doing 4K video editing, but 1080p video edits with super minimal effects is still fine. It also is all right if you want to do some light gaming, but don't expect to play AAA games. You can, however, play esports games like Valorant, but then again, Valorant can run on a potato. And what's really cool about this laptop is that if you are invested into the Huawei ecosystem, then this laptop will fit in really well. On the taskbar, you will find the ecosystem features like mirroring your Huawei phone or quickly connecting to other Huawei devices wirelessly. It's really nice to have this integrated into the taskbar. So huge thumbs up for this. Also, the PC Manager app is also integrated into the taskbar, which will give you a bigger menu to manage your other devices, extend your display, or even control the performance of the laptop. I really like that because this means that Windows and Android phones are kind of getting close to the feel of an Apple ecosystem and maybe with a few devices, it can definitely be on par with Apple's ecosystem. Now finally, the battery life. And the battery is actually pretty impressive. 
On normal usage, like browsing the internet, watching videos, working on the laptop, I got about 8 hours of usage. That number goes down to about 5 hours if let's say I'm editing a very small video, but can go below 5 hours if you're planning to do all of the above and play games at the same time. The laptop supports 135 watts of charging and that will get you to a full charge in give or take about an hour. Okay, so that's about it for the Huawei MateBook 16. It's not a very fancy laptop. It's kind of a laptop meant for work and being as a laptop meant for work, it does that pretty well. The screen is nice. The keyboard is fantastic. I really love the keyboard. And overall, I think if you are invested into the Huawei ecosystem, this laptop will sit comfortably between all your Huawei devices. But that's it guys, that is the Huawei MateBook 16S. Let me know what you think about this laptop in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe, please, please. I'll see you in the next video.